Now this genuinely might be one of the best melee weapons in Hypixel Skyblock, and the price is just stupidly low. Melee weapons in Skyblock are underwhelming to say the least. The only real differentiating factor between majority of melee weapons is just simply the damage that they deal, in that the base damage and also the strength, and maybe the crit damage too. If you look at a weapon like the Dark Claymore, and compare that to something like a Giant Sword, and also compare it to something like a Midas Sword, there's very little difference between them all. They all deal very similar amounts of damage, and apart from the Giant Sword's right click ability which is pretty much useless, there's not too much between them. Eclipsing them in price will be the Valkyrie, and we all know about this. Just so much potential, that's wasted. Not a bad melee weapon, but unfortunately, well, part of the Hyperion family, and therefore, well overpriced for what it is. And that's been a problem for a while, whereby all the melee weapons are virtually the same. That's why weapons that have maybe an actual useful right click ability are usually pretty sought after. But today it's all about the bouquet of lies, you've got to trust me. Price, damage, usability, it's got everything. First of all for context, this weapon costs 8 million coins, completely clean. The one that I've got costs around about 50 mil. Um, but realistically, you're probably not going to need to spend much more money on this for what it is. Probably pick a decent one up for maybe 20 or 30 mil. So in the grand scheme, it's a very cheap weapon. Its base stats are as follows. Plus 220 base damage, plus 300 strength, and plus 50 crit damage. Comparing this to something like a base giant sword, it's going to give us 500 damage. And um, of course that's a ton more base damage than the Bouquet of Lies. However, this is going to give us 300 strength and 50 crit damage. Now, what I'm not going to say is on a regular left click, you know, the giant sword's always going to out damage a bouquet of lies. Like, that's just how it is. And then if we compare that against something like a dark claymore, of course, it's just the same as a giant sword, other than it's going to give us 100 strength and 30 crit damage. Of course, both of these weapons give us swing range too. But something that those two weapons lack is a good right click ability. And when I say good, it is good. But it might just be a bit too good, you know, for, for its own good. Now, just regularly killing zombies. I mean, this, this weapon does have solar eater on, bear in mind. We deal around about, um, what's that, 510k damage? I mean, it's going to differ for everyone, really. But what we're really here for is that right-click ability. I mean, look at the state of that. In fairness, these are just hub zombies. But you can already see that this is going to be pretty damn insane. Let me just show you what it's capable of. Before we do, if you are planning on purchasing anything from the Hypixel store, make sure to use code NITROS, it gets yourself 5% off. Subscribe to the channel if you watch the videos and you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so. You should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of this video. We offer Slayers and Dungeon Carries, so if you need carries, once carry, make some coins, make sure to join. Now what I will say is this weapon is fantastic when you pair it with a set of Crimson. Of course, it doesn't have to be good Crimson, it just has to be Crimson, so you can get that swipe ability. So let's take this bouquet of lies to somewhere like the Crimson Isles, okay? These mobs have got over a million health. Oh, missed. I mean, th that couldn't have been more perfect, could it? Okay, buddy. Don't let me test it! Yeah, when this when you have 10 stacks, look at the state of this destruction. These all these mobs all have over a million health. I don't even need to be near them. This is a melee weapon. We need more of this Hypixel, please. Give purpose to the melee weapon. Okay, someone's laughing at me because I'm using a flower of truth. And I'm actually, it's a bouquet of lies, dude. Oh yeah, maybe I should uh, explain what this right-click ability actually does. It's the Petal Barrage, a fire a barrage of three roses that ricochet between enemies, hitting up to five foes. For every 10% of your health is missing, your roses deal 2% more damage. The cooldown is one second, and it doesn't cost mana, it costs 10% of your health. Now of course, the Bouquet of Lies is essentially just a better version of the Flower of Truth, which has the same ability, um, but not quite. The Flower of Truth just shoots, shoots one rose, damaging up to three enemies, where of course, this shoots three, damaging up to five. And we can kind of see it a little bit better from up here. Kind of what happens. When there's lots of mobs together, it kind of just bounces between mobs. It looks pretty cool, honestly. And with ten stacks, it is literally a weapon of mass destruction. And can we just talk about the damage per click? If this can hit up to five enemies, and we can one hit these mobs that some of them have 1.2 million health, yeah, that's kind of mad. So we're dealing around about six or 700k in a regular hit, then a 1.5 million swipe per mob. 
Now, of course, this has Soul Eater, so if I was to go to the hub, then I wouldn't be dealing anywhere near as much damage. But here in the Crimson Isles, with the right-click ability, that's 2.2 million damage per enemy. Or in other words, 11 million damage per right-click. It honestly just makes grinding pretty much anything where there's a large volume of mobs together really, really easy and actually quite satisfying. Now, sure, a, Hyper a Hyperion is going to work best from something like this. It'll be quicker. It's just easier. Maybe you could even argue the same with something like a Terminator. You have to remember that this weapon that I'm using costs 50 million coins. And realistically, you probably don't have to pay that much to get a decent one. Uh, I'm going to also test it in dungeons because, well, as you can imagine, with the nature of this weapon, it's going to be pretty good for clearing. Now, I'm not necessarily recommending you buy Bouquet of Lies just to go berserk and clear. All you have to do is just take a look at this. The damage figures really don't matter. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Okay, well, nice. Yeah, I'm using gold armor. The point is not for the damage, it's more for the mechanic. Mechanic. Mechanics. Why, why can I not talk? But yeah, the clearing is really quite effortless. I mean, look at the look at the state of this. I mean, the only annoying things are the fells, of course, but the fells are kind of annoying regardless. Yeah, I don't really think you need to see anything else. It is just simply good for clearing. Not great. Not the best for clearing. Not amazing. It's pretty decent, though. It is pretty versatile for the price, I've got to say. In terms of value for money, this weapon is great, and it is most definitely slept on. Is it going to be good for crazy late game? No. I mean, the bottom line is not really many weapons are good for crazy late game. Not many people are using melee weapons at crazy late game, unless you're using it for something like, I don't know, RCM, and you're not going to use a bouquet of lights at that point. The base damage becomes much more required as opposed to strength and crit damage. Now, something it can be good for is um, things like spawning slayers. I mean... I can't really argue with that, that's really not too bad compared to other methods. I mean, sure, you can run around the hype, but the hype is kind of better than everything, that's the point. Actually, pretty decent for spawning something like uh, a Spen Slayer, because it sometimes can be annoying if you're using a melee weapon to actually hit the wolf, even though I just missed. Because once you hit one, you hit in quite a few more too, which is, you know, pretty nice. I've just tried to kill this guy with a, a one helmet on, he's nodding. Everything okay, buddy? I hope so. Now, while it is so strong, there are... Well, there's at least one major drawback. If you start thinking of maybe tasks in the game that this would be really good for, pretty much anything where there's a cluster of mobs that you need to clear pretty quickly. Of course, other uses too, but ghosts will definitely be one that springs to mind. Now, when the Bouquet of Lies was first introduced, the right-click ability worked like a charm on the ghosts, and it was incredibly overpowered to a point where I can't even explain how good it was. But unfortunately... It just doesn't work. Sure, you can use your left click, but at that point, you know, if you really want to one hit them, it's going to be easier to do that with something like a claymore. It really is a shame that the right click ability doesn't work because you can you can kind of see it wants to work. You see, it's trying to hit the ghost. Let's like, see if we can get some close together. It's trying to bounce from mob to mob, but it just can't do anything. Quite sad to see, really. That is the flower of truth, an underrated weapon. That is incredibly good. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.